So here's the chord progression on 68. Remember, the Roman numeral indicates the fret where your first finger plays. So I'm going to kind of walk through this progression one chord at a time, um, and then I'll play through it at the end um, to give you an example. So here's F major at the first fret, our major bar chord, root 6. And then we go to F7. Okay, so that's all at the first fret. The B flat chord is at the sixth fret. So you may want to say like, all right, well, B flat's first fret on the A string, that's closer. Yes, that's closer. But what he's indicating is he wants this F major and then going up to B flat major here on the sixth fret. And then B flat minor. And now A minor at the fifth fret. A minor seven, just take off the pinky. A, a flat minor at the uh, fourth fret, take off the pinky. G minor at the third fret, G minor seven. Now C seven at the third fret, so I'd have to play a root five. Because again, the Roman numeral indicates the fret where my first finger plays. So that's at the third fret. That tells me that that's that bar chord. As opposed to the open C seven, which we'll get into um, Actually, he doesn't play that in this, but this would be the this would be a first fret, Roman numeral one for a C seven. But he wants this one. Okay, third line, F major again, F seven. Now, because it's still Roman numeral one, B flat major seven is going to be here, and then I have a B flat minor, minor seven, F major. Third fret, G minor seven. Third fret, C seven. Back to F. B flat minor at the first fret. And then F. Okay, so it's really helpful if we look at the Roman numerals and kind of map out where those root notes are first. So let me just play this whole progression. <coughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four. So that little comma um, basically just means to kind of lift, um, which is kind of nice to do. Um, I was letting the chords ring out so you could hear all of those, but that would sound like something like this. Strum, strum. And really what I'm doing is I'm not um, taking my hand off, my left hand off the fretboard. I'm just kind of taking the pressure off. So, and it kind of stops the chord from ringing, so. Let's it breathe a little bit. then just make sure there's a rest on beat four in the last measure. Um, so just make sure you're looking at that. Um, 
Yeah, so that's about it. So just make sure that um, you're following the Roman numerals. Um, that's where your first finger is gonna play. And then you're just looking for the root, whether it's on the low E string or the A string for root six or root five version of that chord.